Energy transition is about co-creation. This is about building long-term partnerships with a shared vision for a cleaner world. This is about advancing the triple bottom line of sustainability. What is good for society can be good for the environment, can be good for business. This is why today's debate is important. We tried to find a way, and let's see if we can make it happen together with you, to try and come up with something a little bit more concrete after this session. Trying to figure out a little bit more what concretely needs to happen to engage consumers in the energy transition. And also importantly, who's going to do what? Consumers are generating their own electricity. So self-consumption, it's happening in some of our member states, but we need to look into more deeply in it, also what it means in terms of needs for infrastructure, for smart grids, for smart homes and all that, if we have more and more of this self-generation. In order to have this energy union with a focus on consumer happening, we will also set up with a legislative proposal on governance, making sure that every member state have national plans for energy and climate up to 2030, which is not the case right now. So there's more predictability also on the national side. We need to create financing business models to enable the people to become consumers. Actually, with a financing business model for zero, you can become an energy producer. So it opens this market from the few farmers and a rich you know, dentists of Germany to everyone. We have to allow people, we have to allow utilities and producers and consumers to access data. Give us data. Let us access Google Maps and access the roofs. Give us data on consumption. And then we can tell you which doors to knock. And that's how you bring the cost down. At E.ON, with renewables, with energy networks, and with customer solutions, we want to enable the digitalization, the democratization, and really enable these consumers with new business models to become players into the energy market. That energy revolution, which we triggered with the efficiency policies of Europe and the renewable policies of Europe, is a very brutal uh, revolution because it is a flat demand for electricity. And in that flat demand for electricity, you add 20% of renewables, of new energy. And if the old players are not voluntary uh, retiring the old coal and nuclear, then you create an enormous overcapacity and the prices go. What is an energy consumer? There is the industrial energy consumer, there is the SME energy consumer, there is the commercial buildings energy <coughs> consumer, and the reality in Europe is we are only consuming 3,000 megawatts, 3,500 megawatts. So it is very little money, very little volumes which you can uh, demand side, switch and which you can earn. We think that uh, the uh, energy and climate package of uh, proposed for 2030 are very good. I will agree that targets are, nece are necessary to move technology. If we want to do technology innovation, we need targets. And it's not always very popular. Even within our companies, we have a lot of discussions. If you go to the other side of the ocean, uh, the perspective or the perception of targets is not the same as here. Indeed, with a trend of digitalization, we see even our portfolio changing how we can help the consumer. Simply, you need to have financial incentives, not for us, but for the consumer. We are all for strong legislation which are clear, consistent, so it's very important that we have clarity and consistency. The consumer is the idiot again in this uh, game, because uh, Claude knows this very well. Last year, in, only in Germany, we had an excess production which was paid by feed-in tariff of one terawatt hour. That means that the consumer paid for 1.2 billion of euro for nothing, for curtailed energy. This is absolutely inefficient. Without having access to data, without having standardized contracts, uh, it is very, very hard to make any financial market work. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we are uh, going to have a financial market, either on excess renewable energy that is produced, which is completely absent today, uh, or uh, a market around energy efficiency, it is very, very important to have standardized forms of data, not only in terms of understanding the taxonomy of the data, but how the data is captured and where it is represented. Mm -hmm. What we are advocating is for a place where we can have the information to get the insights for the financiers, for the utilities, for the consumer, and somebody who's close to the consumer. <laughs>